Allison Papish is one of around 200 Ohio educators who attended the Ohio Center for Law-Related Education Law and Citizenship Conference on September 22nd and 23rd. Papish, an AP government teacher at Strongsville High School, attended the event to become a more effective teacher. It just helps me to refocus on what's important in law-related education, to uh, reinvigorate my commitment, uh, you know, to teaching uh, students uh, about civics and government and law. The conference brings teachers from all across Ohio to learn about new issues in government and civic education, with more than 30 law-related sessions offered. Ohio Supreme Court Justice Judith French led a discussion on strengthening civic education in Ohio. What we really do feel like is that we're meeting the needs of teachers, which obviously is one of the most significant goals of our conference. And they walk away energized with ready-to-made lesson plans. They take what they learn in this conference and back to the classroom. The Law and Citizenship Conference kicks off Ohio's mock trial season. Ohio's high school mock trial is the second largest in the nation, behind only California, in the number of teams participating. OCLRE also unveiled its newest program, High School Moot Court, where students will write briefs and argue before appellate court judges. OCLRE celebrated its 30th anniversary during the two-day conference, which included an award ceremony. William Weisenberg received the Founders Award. Weisenberg is the Assistant Executive Director for Public Affairs at the Ohio State Bar Association. The late Jeff Schobert received the Lori Uragdi Eiler Award for Coaching Excellence. Schobert was an attorney in Akron. He and his wife were murdered in their home this past April. Schobert's daughter accepted the award on his behalf.